Welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at how mushrooms are normally grown on a commercial scale. So in the previous video you heard a little bit about how Eric and I got into growing mushrooms and in the next couple of videos we'll take a look at our approach to growing them the low-tech way and we'll take you for a tour around our setup um, but I wanted to just start with the story of when I first got growing I went to visit a commercial mushroom farmer um, to see if he had any words of advice and he actually told me not to bother growing mushrooms at all you see he was just about to go out of business he was growing butter mushrooms and he was struggling to compete with the imports from these mega mushroom farms um, that have been set up in the Netherlands and in Poland and they were just producing them at a much lower cost than him and he was being squeezed on his price and was about to go out of business. So I think it's important that you understand how mushrooms are normally grown in these huge farms. There's basically three stages to the process. The first stage is the spawn production. That's usually carried out by a separate business. So they produce the spawn, which is like the seed for growing the mushrooms in a sterile environment. And they're multiplying it up from small bits of tissue culture onto grain and they usually do this on a huge scale and then ship that spawn to the substrate producer which is step two so the substrate producer will import the substrate usually from quite far afield it might be straw it might be sawdust it might be rice husks um, they'll import this substrate and then on a huge scale again they will be heat treating that in order to kill it off of any organisms that might already be living on it before then introducing the spawn again under sterile conditions and it's really a bit like a factory they're just churning out tons and tons of substrate every single day uh, they usually then incubate it for a few weeks to let the spawn travel across the substrate before they send it to the end producer which is step three of the process so that's usually a separate business again and the, and the mushroom producer buys the substrate in and just places it in the fruiting conditions for the mushrooms to grow and usually it's very high tech, it's done in climate controlled environments and on a huge scale of tons of mushrooms per day. And because they've invested so much money in all of this high tech equipment and they're having to produce the mushrooms on such a huge scale in order to pay for it, they then have to send their mushrooms far afield in order to uh, find enough outlets for them. So the mushrooms are usually then sent in cold storage over very long distances, thousands of miles across continents or on planes even across the world uh, before they finally reach local wholesalers and distributors who then send it to shops and restaurants and finally somebody gets to eat the mushrooms usually a number of days after they've been grown. So I'm sure you can see the issue with this whole production line it's energy intensive it's really expensive to set up and produce and the quality of the produce at the end of it is really poor because it's just not fresh it's not been grown close to where it's consumed. So I'm sure you'll agree with me that this whole way of producing mushrooms is just not a very sustainable way to produce food. So back to the original story of this mushroom grower I met who said not to bother growing them. Did I listen to his advice? No, of course I didn't. I just found a different way to grow them. And in the next video, we'll show you a bit more about how we do that the low-tech way with a tour of our setup. Thanks a lot for joining us. I'll see you in the next video.